You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Ms. Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. You know why you're here, don't you? The dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? It's a rhetorical question. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's gonna think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Splendid. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, You'll be deprecated. Deprecated. We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In brighter news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Barley. The eight-month-old Basset Hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monbo. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpet's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? Yes, the chief said it may be a while. I can see you don't mind getting your hands dirty, though. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. It's deathly quiet. Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room for you. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. Just finishing. Yeah, it's a big place. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. That sounds super. I'm in room one and that's down the hall. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. And which room are you in, Sam? Mysterious. But I know you're in room four, Sam. Don't do anything I wouldn't do in there. Before hanging up the phone, he steps backwards, wearily, brandishing a revolver at the girl and calls out.
The girl snarls at him. I did? That was before I knew you were a killer. Her pace quickens. Cough. Cough. Coughing more blood, Lung swipes with his sleeves and stands his ground. Then you can go back to hell, and wherever it is you came from. Bang! 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 The bullets whip holes through her chest, and blood arcs ferociously from the wounds. She staggers with each impact. Then- Good, you got my message. Chief Inspector Dupont. I wasn't sure you'd come, but I suppose you're between jobs? Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam. That's your cover now. So, the job. Director Shaw. 21, the Compass Cellist, Redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. Yes. Keep up, Sam. That's the girl who was murdered. Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. <laughs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs? To be honest, I thought she'd probably been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? Okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you a license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But you help me out, and I'll help you. Do I have to spell it out? I'll make your problem go away, or at least sink it to the bottom of a pile of paperwork. Your old town? The problem? Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? What do you want to know? She was a cellist, selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. Don't read the paper, do you? Yesterday, Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner, we got a call from the mother just after 10pm. Do, do I have an alibi for last night? Do I? Okay. I was here, and there are video monitors that will prove it. Thanks for ruling me out, genius. In her bedroom. She was naked. Strangled. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. Ah, uh, born here, runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What she told you? She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone. Where else, and... You're there. Should we try it now? No, I've tried it. It doesn't work for me. Oh. Maybe it works for you. You try it. Okay, so I'm just going to imagine somewhere else. And... She's got Sam, is it? I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. I didn't. We've only been here two days. I understand it's suspicious me being a stranger in town, but it's the truth. We saw danger in the cards and we tried to stop it. 
Trust me, Sam, we're on the same team. In my room, reading, I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. I'm assuming it's Violet's. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. She came to my room to chat for a little while. That was around nine, I think. You can ask her. I said the book was trashy. Look at this place. If her guest house is anything to go by, Violet's the opposite of trashy. We saw it in the cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. Drunk by mystics and the process caused the pain you see on his face. These t I assume you've been to see Chief Dupont already. It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. But I imagine I was here or getting groceries somewhere. I've driven by it. Never actually been in it. Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Yes, a lamb. Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though, don't they? Nice, yes, that's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Sorry. I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. I don't know, Dr. Sam. You tell me. They're tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Because they may have killed someone. It's not great for my reputation, is it? Stir at Violets, the home of killers and hobos. I'm sorry, it's a derogatory word, isn't it? But strange people seem to gravitate towards this guest house, Sam. I think I'll get the sign changed. 4,500 years old and comes from an ancient burial ground called Saqqara. This particular one has traces of the same limestone as the Great Sphinx of Giza. Well, that's what the man down the pub told me. That's incredible. Oh, hi. Sam, is it? Come on in. Make yourself at home. Mi casa es su casa. <laughs> Come on. I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously, and Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Good old-fashioned fortune-telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smushed them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? Everybody thinks that. It's such a cliché. The death card doesn't even mean death. Most of the time. <laughs> The Five of Swords? I think so anyway. There's nothing more dangerous than someone taking whatever they want no matter the cost. Yeah, I did. Rain got the Knight of Wands, that's Dorota, and Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know, <laughs> swords in general are bad. I was in my room all night with Bronwyn. We were, um, painting our nails. No, I mean, yeah, I've already cleaned it off.
she's like my big sister, so pretty well. No! The cards told us to. Well, the cards in rain. Tarot gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. No. Well, yeah. Well, no. We have a job to do. I didn't say job. I said job. Okay. We make a um, cheese obelisk. A chob. And depending on the shape of that chob, we get different answers to questions. No, you don't. B, yes. Um, Would you say is his profession? Something religious, I suppose. He's yes. Very, he's very involved. He's very a monk. Yes. Well done. <sighs> Pains me to think that I was even on the list, but I'm ruled out because we have video footage of me in the station at the time of the murder. Roman and Lexi say they were in the same room last night. Shame they can't agree which one. The tarot readers have mentioned a job. We don't know what. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, and you found out she's taking pills. Perhaps they're related. That's it. Yes. These tattoos are a reminder that some things are best left unseen. Several were made, apparently. Um, but as far as I can tell, I have... You must be a new guest. Or you're burglaring us. I'm Rain, by the way. Pleased to meet you, Sam. Enjoy your stay. Uh, the hot water goes off at nine, by the way. So it's cold showers from there on in. It really bugs me. I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young, had red hair, a talented musician. No, not at all. You're completely barking up the wrong tree there. <laughs> Spoken like the true killer, posing as a detective, trying to frame someone else for the murder. I was in my room, praying, actually. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. It didn't work. I don't believe in anything, but I also believe anything is possible, so uh, it's a conundrum. <laughs> we did a reading, a group reading, actually, with a special tarot deck. You get it piecemeal, not everything in one reading. The last one we did showed a young woman being murdered. Young, talented, probably red-headed. Mercury? It's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. With Mercury, it gives you the question and the answer. The cards themselves kind of change. It's a special deck. I don't have it at the moment. Bronwyn has it. The water. Then she opens her eyes, and I realize... Mercury? Sure. I'll just get it. It feels a bit sacrilegious just spreading it out to show you. It doesn't really answer questions, it more asks them. Do you want to ask your question, Sam? Hmm. It wants to know if you're happy being the person you are now. Mercury doesn't agree. In fact, if anything, and I could be wrong, it's suggesting that you're not even the person you're saying you are now. I've only had that reading once before. I think you're actually getting a lot better at this. <laughs> thank you very much. So, obviously, once again, Alex, thank you very much for sharing this one with us. I would love to talk about this one. In 
quite emotional because the imagery of the lake actually it and now the black hair in this dream actually also relates to the actually relates to emotional stress so if i'm honest alex and i find somewhere safe to transition you're not a superhero I, <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. The, um, this lady can, um, take something from this. Who knows whether you've made the right decision or not, Claude. How's Bronwyn been? Overly nice. She's covering her tracks well, if she has anything to hide. What was it I asked you to do again? You just told me to report back to you if I noticed anything suspicious. Good grief, Claude. You're a bit young to be losing your marbles already. What were you doing last night? Claude, we've been through this. I honestly don't remember. I checked my diary and there's no entry, so I was probably here, as always. How can you not remember, Violet? I don't know. Which is exactly what I said in my statement. Don't try and get me to contradict myself. Your body is nothing more than a prison for your consciousness. Your Chief Dupont, what a pleasant surprise. I think we've covered just about everything twice over, but if you think I'm hiding something... Who are you really, Bronwyn Castle? Does it bother you, Chief Dupont, knowing there are things in this world that aren't black and white? You don't know what to file me under, and that makes you uncomfortable. Or perhaps you've already made up your mind about me. Why don't you tell me who you think I am? Hmm? You're a c I haven't asked anyone for a penny. It's like an alien. And from what I can see, it's like a alien. Good evening, Chief Dupont. Dorota's family, what does the tarot say about them? Bronwyn never been arrested? Not since I've met her. She's a lawful, good type character. If you play D&D. Lexi, ever been in trouble with the police? Have you ever been in trouble? I've never been convicted, no. Been ch- My mind's gone blank. Dorota's family, what- I can do a reading, if you want. It's the Five of Cups. It talks about loss and dealing with that loss. I don't think you need a tarot reader to interpret that one. It's from so long ago. Hmm. To be honest, it might just have been someone imagining that that's what aliens look like. Or yeah. it could be. Oh, Chief Inspector, you gave me a shock. What is it? What have I done? Tell me about Bronwyn. Why are you here in August? Well, it's not for the nightlife, I can tell you that. This is where the cards told us to go. I guess you could call it destiny. Do you know anyone? What's wrong with the nightlife? No, I can honestly swear I don't know any Augustives? Augustonians? Augustans, until we got here. Tell me about Bron. What? Nothing. I mean,. I was here all night. This cat's on a... Bron can vouch for me. Tell me about Bronwyn. She's an Aquarius. Her favourite colour is green. What else do you need to know? Is she your leader? Has she killed before? Jail? What for? I haven't done anything wrong. 
aiding and abetting a criminal. I'll aid and abet Bronwyn to the day I die, but she's not a criminal. It's like a bell ringing in reverse. The purpose of most spirit chimes Unfortunately, they don't work. I mean, I've had them hanging up at the station for a few months now. Unless, 